let's go. Welcome to the biggest without a recipe season ever. Today we're making Pop Tarts. Oh no. Ah! Here we go, y'all. This is the greatest show. Five episodes plus one very special live finale. Live finale. That's right, live. I'm sorry that I'm yelling. It's just very exciting. <laughs> oh my god! Go, go, go! I don't have enough time, Rachel! Raven, please! Oh. No recipe, no clue, no hope. Come join us. It's gonna be huge. I spent too much time farting around! You're scaring our judges. <laughs> this is off the real uh, suffering is funny. Zach, Zach, <coughs> we can't we can't lose episodes repaired together. Yeah. I wanna please my father. <laughs> <laughs> The Try Guys are back in the test kitchen for a brand new season of Without a Recipe. I don't know. I'm already nervous. This week they're making Pop Tarts. I think it's a pie crust, right? We're making a pie crust. Will they find themselves in a jam? Are we even doing this right? I think we're just playing with the tools. Or will they be toasted? Nicely toasted. I'm really counting on this being almost entirely butter. <laughs> Over the course of two days, each baker will have four hours to complete their dish and present it to our panel of judges. Welcome to the judging of Pop-Tarts. Hi everyone, I'm Rosanna Pantino and I host one of the most popular baking shows on the internet. Hi, my name is Jennifer Yee and I'm the chef owner of Baker's Bench in Chinatown and we are a uh, mostly vegan bakery. Hi, I'm Monique and I am a Michelin starred pastry chef. So I started baking when I was first an intern in Rome. And then after college, I went to pastry school in Paris. And then I worked in a few different places. And one of those places was in Hong Kong, where I was the executive pastry chef at the time. And we got two Michelin stars. I think pastry seems hard because there are some parameters that are very precise. If you understand the limits, there is actually a fair margin for creativity and innovation. A Pop-Tart is a very commercialized version of what was originally intended to be a Going. It really does qualify to be a pastry because it has a dough component, a filling, and an icing. The Pop-Tart itself is very simple, but sometimes the simplest things are the most difficult to execute well. Tender, but crumbly. I do think you have to be able to toast a Pop-Tart. If you were going to attempt this without a recipe, I would suggest having a plan. I don't think I've had a Pop-Tart in 20 years. I don't really know the Pop-Tart flavors. I just know a Pop-Tart when I see it. Last season, I was evil, Eugene. But as many commenters say, oh, it's so nice seeing Eugene not be so angry and closed off. He's so good now. He's so sweet. So this season, you're getting the true final form. Good, Eugene. Cue angel music, spotlight, glitter, halo. That's the graphic. Pop-Tarts, how do you make them? It's a pie crust, but instead of a pie, it's a little pocket. Are you traditionally good at Pie crust? Am I good at pie crust? <laughs> Roll the tape. Yeah. Well, my pie's garbage. How did that even happen? I don't even know what to do. No, I'm not great at pie crust. This season, I'm gonna win every single one. Hashtag Zach Sweep. I don't know what Pop-Tarts are, really. I've never had one. I didn't eat Pop-Tarts growing up. My parents wouldn't let me. And then no one at lunch wanted to trade me. I don't know what they are. They're flaky, right? Pop-Tarts come out of the freezer? Right? You've never had a Pop-Tart. I've never. <laughs> they come out of the freezer, right? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no? This, for sure, is more of a pastry than it's a cake. A pastry. It's a pastry. We're making little rectangular things with filling inside that you put in a toaster. Pop up, you eat them. Part of this complete breakfast. What goes in the dome? And time starts now. I'm not gonna run. Oh, my dad loves pecans. Mom, too. I'm gonna make a daddy's favorite pop tart. It's gonna be a cinnamon and brown sugar infused dough. And we're also gonna put a little port wine in there. I don't know if my dad actually liked pop tarts, but probably. Probably because there wasn't one made specifically for him. 
tastes are plain, and then the stuff inside is what's crazy tasting, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe? The Zack Sweep is off to a strong start. We're going uh, one, a six for six. Zack <laughs> Sweep. Today, I am making a Pop-Tart. You ready for this? Are you f***ing ready? That's right, it's going to be a tart pop flavored pop tart. Soda and tart, uh, how do I say that? I'm making cherry cola, bitch. How does your frosting not melt in the toaster? How does my frosting not melt in the toaster? <laughs> not something I had considered. So my first 100% good recipe, special effects graphic there. <laughs> I'm just telling the editor so they know. Oh, angels. I'm making a patriotic Pop-Tart. That's right, I'm basically creating the American flag and America's favorite snack. And the inside, I'm gonna combine different things that I think are like truly American foods. Apple pie, beer, and cheese. But not just any cheese. You know, some cheddar to be fancy, but really a lot of Kraft Singles. Could it work? Who knows? But. In the end, I get to tell the judges that if they burn my Pop-Tart, they are technically burning the American flag, which is a felony. First, the bakers will have one hour to make their dough. Are there eggs? Maybe there are eggs. There's always an egg. Or milk? Is there milk? There's milk. Ketchup? Does that go in? <laughs> okay. Why are we paired together, Zach? <laughs> you don't know. So for the dough, we're going to start with our all-purpose flour, add a little bit of salt, sugar, baking powder, and this is more for that sort of scone texture. I just put my sugar and flour in together, willy-nilly. Is it just butter, flour, and sugar? Do you think that you pre-mix the sugar in with the flour? Salt. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of baking powder. Are you worried? I'm, well, I'm trying to. He's like a velociraptor. Clever girl. <laughs> For our fat, we're using a mix of oil and butter. Oil gives you more of the mouthfeel of something being moist. I'm gonna use two sticks of butter, one hard, one soft. Wait, why? Well, because I don't know what to do. Soft and hard butter? <laughs> I like my butter like I like my man. Soft. <laughs> Um, so if you're making a dough that has too much butter, it could end up very greasy. I think I need a lot more butter. This is not enough. I'm gonna have to double this. The one thing I know about pastry is that there's a lot of butter in it. A so lot I of think, butter. I think we're doing great, Zach. Paula, Paula Dean. Except for the racism. I do generally believe that butter is better, <laughs> but there is a limit because when you bake it, that butter will just melt and make everything that's super soggy. <laughs> Mmm, chunks of butter in it. Maybe I put in four sticks of butter. Well, that, that'd be too much. This is the amount of water that we're going to be putting into this dry ingredients. Is there milk in pastry? Yeah, there has to be milk right. in pastry. If you are going to add more liquid than this, that would be a mistake. But maybe it needs a little egg so that it's a little more structurally sound. You don't necessarily want it to come together as if it were a brioche dough. It will start to look wrong and you'll be very tempted to add more, but don't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna put an egg in it. Or is that cake? Or is the cake? Do I need baking soda? My brain's not working. Good Eugene doesn't know, come on. Okay, I'm gonna pray on it. Pray on it? <laughs> Cause I'm good Eugene. Uh... The higher powers are telling me to put an egg in it. Okay. <laughs> America. Should we start singing patriotic songs? I would love that. This land is your land. This it's land is my land. land. From California to the This land is made for you and me. Well, sometimes not for you or me, Zach. Yeah. Yeah, it depends on who's in power. Yeah. Jews will not replace us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the China virus. So I'm going to mix this till it looks like sand. You want to be careful to not mix it for too long. I would not use a stand mixer. Oh, it feels like frosting. There it goes. It's looking doughy. Do you need pastry dough? 
We're trying to avoid kneading the dough as much as possible. I would just mix it very, very little. Every motion, you are going to start developing gluten. Developing gluten is always what's going to lead to something that's very tough and dense and heavy. How, how, did I just make perfect ass frosting? It's the wrong episode. Don't overwork it or play with it because it will ruin the final product. These colors are America. This is gooey. Is it supposed to be like bread dough that's, that's not that? And you can see that it's still really crumbly, but I am not going to work it any further. Gather it gently and coax it into a round. Oh my God, I can see a full chunk of butter. There's a, oh, there's a big one. <laughs> The only thing I know about working with pastry is that sometimes they laminate it, which is what I'm gonna do because it's the only thing I know. What is lamination? Whatever it is, I don't think I'm doing it right, but I think my experimentation is you... super fun looking. What the hell are you doing? Early mistakes will compound as you continue to work. Everyone say lamination. That looks like the most delicious psychedelic tortilla ever. So you wanna be precise and ideally not too frantic. No one, no one freak out. I think I made a croissant on accident. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry to all the bakers out there. And with the rest and the fridge overnight, it will come together. Look at this, it looks nice. Aesthetically, it looks nice. <gasps> you know what I could do? I just noticed it kind of looked like a good flesh tone. Give him a nice chin. I made a little man. <laughs> <laughs> Just making it so while it sits, it has some personality. We don't think about the life the dough has while resting, and maybe we should. It's sort of like, like when you say positive things to plants, they grow better. This is daddy's favorite. <laughs> so I'm making daddy. <laughs> My dad's name is Don, so this is Don Habersberger. Oh, his eyeball fell out. Uh-oh, <laughs> his people fell out. Let's just mash that back in there. There we go. You think he's cute? Yeah. Yeah, he is cute. It's day two. After leaving their dough to rest overnight, the guys have three hours to make their fillings and finish their Pop-Tarts. Here we go. Oh, shit, okay. Uh, Y'all ever see someone boil Coca-Cola? <laughs> You're about to. Now we are making our filling and we are going to start with frozen strawberries which have defrosted and we're going to just blend them up. Get some raisins, get some walnuts. I'll use pecans, why the heck not? Let's get some sugar in there. Look at those brown sugar pellets go. You know what, I'm just gonna keep the skins on because I do not have time to peel these. So you can hand chop or use the food processor, but if you hand chop, it will be more like a traditional pie filling. You didn't get me pitted cherries? You're so mean. Are you gonna make me pit these? Zach, you've pitted cherries. Uh, with my mouth. I do it in my mouth, which I don't think the judges want. Making things too complicated would be a big trap. I might just be destroying a pot, who knows, right? Like, is that just the carbonation? You know, I think when you heat stuff like this, it becomes kind of like a goo. Rachel's nodding, that was an accident. <laughs> so we got brown sugar, raisins, and nuts. Then I got a little bit of this port. I don't know, it doesn't say port. It says, la vieille au femme. What's wrong with that? This happens every season. I can't open anything. Why is this unopenable? Help, Mom. It feels like there's oil all over it. How'd you do that? <laughs> How'd you do that? Amazing. Look what women can do. Truly the superior sex. I'm going off with some very Americana-inspired items. I got <laughs> apple pie in the pot, some good old Budweiser, and of course, the two national cheeses. Cheddar and craft singles. Oh yeah. I would say the key component is to have a pretty low moisture content. If you have a really wet filling, it will make your layers of dough soggy at the end, even after you've baked it. Cheers, America. Eugene, is your southern accent coming back? No. Did it come back? Uh-huh. I want it to I want it to taste like America in a Pop Tart. I'm going to make this very not sweet. I'm taking into account the icing on top, so I want that to balance out the filling. Okay, let's do, we're gonna just do cherries and a ton of sugar. We're just going to be using this amount of sugar and I would not use too much more than this. And I actually might not even use all of it. Let's sift some powdered sugar, baby. 
Oh, that's adorable. I want it to be more on the tart side so that when you have everything together, it comes to like a reasonable amount of sweetness. Oh, look at me go. Oh, this is just the cutest thing that ever was, Christmas. The icing is also going to be super sweet. That's so much sugar. <laughs> and it also has a very concentrated strawberry flavor, and that will also help to make this a little more delicious. Yeah, I definitely think it's gonna be a lot of sugar. I'm honestly, I'm hoping that using powdered sugar instead of regular sugar means I don't need to use like any other thickener. <laughs> We're gonna make good stuff this season. I can't see the controls. It's like I'm Indiana Jones. And it will be cooked down so much that it almost becomes a paste, so it's like a very, very reduced jam. Let me make a little wine, raisin, pecan, jam of sorts. Look at how it blurps. I want it to taste like, you know, America in a bite. I think the beer is gonna be pretty good. I'm worried about the craft Singles, but I'm going for it. You know, I no really one's forcing wanted to... you to do that. So we're seeing it partially reduced. You can see quite a bit of the liquid has cooked out. We're going to add strawberry jam that is store-bought because it already has pectin in it, which is a thickening agent. This is just not a jam, it's a soup. Honey will make it thick. It is phenomenal. It is the sugariest thing I've ever had. So while this is cooking down, we're actually going to roll out the dough that has chilled. I'm gonna go ahead and cut him right down the middle of his face, because we need two equal dough chunks to roll out. Get a little bit of flour. I don't know if I actually need it or not. Do not use flour to roll it out. Just stick with parchment. Everyone is wondering what this looks like. If you add flour, it changes the actual consistency. You are going to create more and more gluten, which we are all always trying to avoid. Oh no, it's so frozen. But look at that lamination. <laughs> now that I really think of it, I did not eat that many Pop-Tarts as kids. Yeah, Eugene. That looks like something someone voluntarily made in the kitchen. I'm using a, br a branded Pop-Tart as a size guide because this way it will 100% fit in the toaster. All right, I've made a little pattern for myself to try to keep them close to uniform. Well, <laughs> I figure this was about the size of a Pop-Tart, so I'm going with this. And we're going to dock the holes through which the steam will vent out. So the whole time we're going to be whisking that because if I let that go for too long, it's gonna scorch in like a minute. And then we're going to refrigerate this and do the same with the bottom dough. I'm like measuring this all perfect-like as if I'm actually, that's gonna be what makes and breaks my design. Rachel, what's the time? The way that it looks in the pot is more or less how it's going to look when it's baked. Done. All done. It looks like a mincemeat pie. So I can smell the wine. Maybe I'll put a little cinnamon in this. Yes, so off the heat, we're going to season it. I am particular to salt, vanilla, and if we feel like it, some acid. Craft Singles. Ah, oh, just like Mama used to make. Oh, so cute. Oh, so cute. Oh my God, guys. Guys, 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 it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Coca-Cola goo. Tastes nothing like Coca-Cola. Yeah, I think I just made, I think I made caramel. Oh, that's what brown sugar is when you melt it. I made caramel. I like a piping bag for fillings because it gives me a lot of control and precision for where I'm going to put the filling. What do I, should I just start building them? And hope? This isn't a, you know, American pop tart, so I'm trying not to scrimp on the insides, but I think it might bite me in the ass in the end, because I think these are the first. For the kids who love their beer-flavored Pop-Tarts. Mm. You need to have a margin, just so that your filling doesn't leak out. I'm putting down a nice heaping of cherry goo and then little caramel rocks. I feel like Pop-Tarts aren't that full. I'm really nervous. I'm just trying to power through it. I'll cry later. This is called crimping. Ooh, I know how to crimp. Uh-oh. This crimp is just ripping it apart. I don't think it's cold enough. Generally speaking, for sticking any kind of pastry, you want some sort of liquid. Egg white or eggs are usually the strongest. Okay, that's a tart. <laughs> Unimpressive, yes, but we can mold it to look nicer. <gasps> My God, I'm gonna write dad in little holes. <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay, oven. Yes, these definitely need to be baked all the way through in the oven because the toaster is more for just rewarming as opposed to cooking or baking it. So I'm gonna let them stay in there for 12 minutes to an hour. I'm just gonna throw it in. 350, let's go. Coming through! 
Wow, his are beautiful. Oh, what? Uh, okay, bottom and top. Great. Ah! Let's go make some frosting. Um, so, in the meantime, we are going to make our royal icing because it's really, really strong. It is heat proof. You can toast it and it will stay completely intact. Put the pedal to the metal here and try to make some kind of simple frosting that's not gonna melt. Really simple. It's just powdered sugar and egg whites. Royal icing is so simple, so anyone can do it. Butter, sugar, marshmallow, and Santa gum. <laughs> Classic ingredients. Inside we have sugar, Coca-Cola, butter, corn syrup, food coloring, and flour? Is frosting milk? I would avoid making buttercream for this application because it will absolutely melt and probably destroy your toaster. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at my first batch, see how they're doing in here. You tell me, but that looks like a freaking Pop-Tart. Corn Diddy Sweep is alive and well. They're all cracked on top. <laughs> You think that was from the dad? I think this is right. Okay, I'm gonna run these over to the freezer. Come in behind you with the hot stuff. Yeah, they're all crickety cracking. Maybe I won't <laughs> put the dad in some of them. Wow, this is stressful. After leaving their banks to cool in the freezer. Get every second of cool it can. The guys only have 10 minutes left to finish their Pop-Tarts. Okay, so these three are still rather warm, but these six are pretty good. They need some sort of design element. The plan was to make Coca-Cola frosting, and that's not going to happen. Well, I've got a couple options. I've got my cherry goo. I've got two very, very bad frostings. The goo is like the best goo that you've ever gooed, and I've been gooed on a lot, let me tell you. OK, I'm just going to go for it. Come on, Pinterest. Four and a half minutes. Ugh, rushed. Everything's warm. My flags are melting. I'm going old fashioned with this. Dads are simple folk. We gotta mow the lawn today. One minute. They're holding their shape. I can't believe it, but they are the ugliest things I've ever seen. Should have done the flags last. What was I thinking? Melting, 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 melting. Go, go, go! I don't have enough time, Rachel! Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up, bakers! I ruined it. Bakers! That was That's tough. beautiful. Pop tart! Sunk! <laughs> Welcome to the judging of Pop Tarts. Today we are judging on taste, creativity, presentation, and is it a Pop Tart? Processed foods are actually the hardest things to recreate at home because we just don't have those same ingredients. Pop-tarts are probably really hard to make. I'm looking for something that is flaky, that still has some texture, nothing soggy, and what I'm not looking for is anything that is just melting in the toaster. <laughs> I've actually never had a Pop-tart, so I'm excited <laughs> to see where this goes. <laughs> Pop-Tarts. You know, my dad loves cinnamon and raisins together. And I used to call all the things that my daddy loved daddy's favorite. Uh, and he, especially he had like this uh, coffee cake that I've talked about a lot. And it had cinnamon raisins and pecans on it. So I made a cinnamon raisin brown sugar pecan filled uh, Pop-Tart. And to age it up and to make it more desserty, I added a little red wine into it as well. So in the filling are minced pecans, raisins, brown sugar, cinnamon, sugar, and a little bit of red wine. Get Those these look, look they like they look great. <laughs> Thanks. I like that I'm seeing that it's golden brown, so I think that it's baked well. I see the filling is a little fuller on some than the other, so I, I'm a little concerned. The icing does still look a little bit wet, which might not hold up yeah, so well in the gonna, toaster. I could not figure out how to make that icing the way they do it. There's marshmallow in this icing. Just a little. A little. What it's else actually is marshmallow. Well. Oh, interesting. Shall I, should I put them in the toaster? Should they put them in the toaster? I think Jim could pop them in the toaster. Pop them in there. I'm, I'm actually worried about this icing sticking to the grates of the of the toaster. Here, just uh, not overfilling is a big concern. I'm okay. really worried about this icing. I'm very excited. It smells good. Nothing bad seems like it's happening. <laughs> I 
I feel like these are the most adult pop tarts. Oh, oh, oh. Are they toasted enough? Do we feel like we should plunge them some more? Oh, I don't, I don't know. No, let's take them out. Okay. That's good. <laughs> a little caliente. Oh, hot. Yeah, it's, 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 hot, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Just like a real pop chart. They were Woo. toasted. The bottom looks great. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. This like is that. really hot. I'm gonna crumble. Yeah, this is. Yeah, I'm really gonna cut hot. this in half. Let it cool down just a little bit. Right this it. thing. This is hey, look hot. at that cross section. This cool. looks great. Yeah. Oh, mine broke. My, that's okay. That's that crack. That's what they do. That's what pop tarts do. Mmm, -hmm. there's that wine. <laughs> the wine hits first and then yeah, you the get... Yeah, the wine hits first. And then the raisin is last. It's all grapes. The pastry isn't dry, it's flaky, it's holding its shape. Mm -hmm. Technically, it works. I love to hear that. <laughs> it's odd, but it's pretty good. It is pretty good. The flakiness of the edges, I love it. Flaky and buttery. And they also look incredibly appetizing. I think it's really close to the original brown sugar cinnamon. And I feel like I'm at a holiday party. And I'm like, I have a bunch of stuff on my plate, and I'm kind of like mishmashing it all in my mouth. And it tastes like a holiday party kind of smashed together into a Pop-Tart, which that is good to me. It's very well calibrated, to be honest. Um, the pastry is a little bland and the filling is a little much, but all together, it's, it's <laughs> calibrated. It's a bomb dart. <laughs> I actually don't mind the taste. It's, it's odd and I've never had it before. It's like an adult cereal. Like I feel like I've just had cinnamon raisin cereal and then I had a glass of wine. That's ex which yeah, exactly. May that sounds like a dad's <laughs> night to me. <laughs> Worked so hard mowing the lawn right? all day. Finally got a chance to himself, but there's no food left, so he just made himself a little bit of raisin bran and a glass of wine. <laughs> My hands really sticky just because of the top Mm. layer of icing, I think it might be the marshmallow, but it's really sticky. You were just trying to find something sticky. you don't like, aren't you, Rob? Just love it for once. I just said it tastes it. great, it melted great, it, it's good, it's Feels just like really sticky. Feels like pulling teeth with you sometimes. It's, just be like, I'm impressed, I love it. Keith, when you make something that's good, we gotta, you know, dissect it, you know what I mean? Well, we dissect it when it's bad, too, so maybe oh, when yeah. it's good, we just... Just let the kite fly. <laughs> I have two final questions, judges. One, is it a Pop-Tart? Yes. Yes. Um, no, no? I think just, oh. I like, I'm kind of hung up on the fact that it's not technically toaster proof. Oh! I would say like 90% yes, it is a Pop-Tart. Mm, that's a passing grade for me. <laughs> I'll take it. And then question number two, does it remind you of my daddy? As someone who's never had a Pop-Tart or met your dad, I'm going to stay out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> Judges, I appreciate your time and critique. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, Keith. Okay. Out with evil Eugene, out with that edgy stuff. This season's all about good Eugene, and what's sweeter than the United States of America? So I proudly present to you, ask not what your pop tie can do for you, what for you can do for your pop tie. The patriotic tart. Whoa. What an artistic expression. Very artsy. We're speechless. <laughs> <laughs> what does freedom taste like? Uh, apple pie, Budweiser beer, and crap singles. Oh no, these are thick. Eugene, these are extremely creative. <laughs> it's a creative theme, it's a creative design. I have never seen a patriotic Pop-Tart before. It looks like the gluten was a little bit overworked, um, but we can like see- the American people. <laughs> Overworked. How are you feeling um, about these going into the toaster? I'm just curious. Like America, we come together in what is considered a grand social experiment. And sometimes you just have to, sometimes you just have to try. Because if you never try, you'll never know if you can succeed. <laughs> I got a clap for that. There we go. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, that was the point. Didn't answer my question. <laughs> Toss them in the toaster, drop them in the slots. I feel like we're doing food science. 
Uh, yeah, so just, just so you know, if you end up burning the flag, that is a crime. Yeah. Wow, that thing just weighed down the, <laughs> the actual pedal itself. I'm excited, but also concerned. <laughs> <laughs> it's immediately burned. Oh, it's smoking. Liberty is not holding up well in this what? toaster. It's smoking. She's on fire. See, um, Oops, what else is in America is it, famous for fireworks. Maybe don't look directly over it. <laughs> oh, they're all on fire. Looks like a little bit of icing and maybe a lot of those uh, sprinkles. I saw a flame. <laughs> okay, we're done. I also forgot the size of toasters. This is the state of the country, a toaster <laughs> bar. <laughs> Not a dumpster fire. America. America. Well, no, now it's kind of like a Jackson Pollock. Oh, it's very heavy. The weight of history. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that it smells a nice, flaky sound. Really? So there's cheese, apples, and beer. Yeah, I, I reduced down some Granny Smith apples with like cinnamon and nutmeg and Budweiser and sugar. <laughs> That's very weird. Just like this country. <laughs> I think I like it. <laughs> the beer goes really well with the <laughs> apple pie actually baked in. How do I explain this? It's like if a Danish, Danish. and an apple pie had a baby. I, it's very weird, but it's not bad. My palate is just a little confused because it's <laughs> never had this before. I've never taken a bite of a Danish and then taken a bite of an apple pie. The color is a little... Ugh. Yeah, the color is... But <laughs> it tastes good. You did a laminated pastry. You did a great job. I hate to say that, that it's actually like weirdly good. <laughs> That's <laughs> like, what I'm saying. I, I don't think I'm down, but it's good. <laughs> I'm really confused about yeah, my feelings no, right now. I'm not sure what just happened, but it was pretty good. It's sort of similar to Keith's, where if you eat the disparate elements, they're a little funky, but it's very well calibrated. It's really flaky, and it's holding its shape really well. To do that without a recipe is yeah. very, yeah, I'm, very I'm impressive. really impressed, honestly. Mm -hmm. I'm not even joking. Why does this filling work? I don't get, I don't get you're just, it. You're just like mind I just, it. Like, <laughs> I, I hate that I kind of like it. It's sweet from all the sugar. It's tart from the apples. It's salty from the cheese. It has depth from the beer. You just like hit every taste bud. Just like this beautiful country. <laughs> no, <laughs> not really. <laughs> Judges, is it a Pop-Tart? Yes for me? Yes. This is difficult because you've got a great filling, you've got a great crust, but I don't think it toasted and it caught on fire. So it's not a toastable Pop-Tart. I would say being toastable is part of the challenge, so I'd say in that area, it's lacking. And we appreciate the commitment to the theme, including your, your dress. That goes very well with the, the creative aspect of this. My dad would wear this shirt, <laughs> for sure. Judges, as we begin, why don't you crack into little cherry coke, or as I like to call it, a tart pop. Yeah, you get it? Because it's a, I made a pop tart pop tart. It's cherry coke pop tart. Let's do this. <laughs> pop like how they say in the north. Oh, oh gotcha. It's gotcha. a weird white people thing. They're thick. These are, th Zach, these are thick. This is the year of this, Thicky Zach. This, what can I say? Is, these are some <laughs> thick pop tarts. Thank you. They look like they've been murdered and like dragged through like dirt or something. For some reason, they look very violent. I'm. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> they do kind of look like they were like shot. What is on top? What is that? Uh, cherry goo. May shock you to learn, looking at what I've created, didn't grow up eating pop tarts. <laughs> oh, hey, it's it's good. Yeah. All up in there. Well, they're meant to look like. Oh! Whoa. Zach, you're so strong now. Thicky. It looks like pie. It kind of looks like pie. Okay. I use all natural ingredients. There ain't no, well, except for the Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh! Oh, they look oh. charred. So I reduce the cherries, and you have like chopped up cherries with some sugar, and then I also have a Coca-Cola caramel in there. How does one make a Coca-Cola caramel? Well, I tried boiling Coca-Cola 
for as long as possible, and it just never became a goo. The color of this is beautiful. Zach, I hate to say this, because of the thickness, my, Don't say it then. my dough didn't bake all the way through, and you'll see this layer right here. Uh-huh. It's just soggy, it's still soft. It, or, it's, it's not cooked. Or maybe try it anyway and ignore okay. it. Here goes nothing. I think that the cherries are really good. And I'm proud of myself. What's mm. this? What's I this do love crunchy, cherries. This crunchy bit. There's like a, there are like chunks of something. Is it sugar? Oh, the caramel! Oh, 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 oh. Guess oh. it doesn't melt in toasters. It's tasty though. It's yeah. good. Let's go there. It's kind of more like a bread or a biscuit. Oh my gosh, it does taste like a biscuit. You also didn't roll yours so out very thin. No, I mean, I definitely we, rolled we it. We know. <laughs> <laughs> I really actually loved your cherry filling. It's good, right? It was good. But it's just the dough, dang it. The dough's messing me up here. It's raw. I think it would be perfect if you subtracted one whole layer so it was like a tartine, you know? You overworked your dough a little bit. I would have liked to see a little bit more flakiness, which would have come from larger pieces of butter. I, ha I had that really good, and I thought that was a, a bug, not a feature. I made sure to get rid of those for you. <laughs> Uh, this is supposed to be the sex sweet project. Sex sweet. You did a lot of subtraction here. Yeah, I took out all the stuff that you would have loved and made sure that you didn't get it. <laughs> if I it's could, like, real quick. Not as fun. I just want to go ahead and just. <laughs> <'cause>... <laughs> Can you see how that one tastes? I think the biscuity part will soak up quite a bit of it. I think it will actually. <laughs> now it's right. <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> actually you can taste it now. <laughs> <laughs> Judges, mm -hmm. is it a Pop-Tart? It's, it's a barely passing Pop-Tart for me, but it yeah. is a Pop-Tart. Yeah. It's a Pop-Tart. Um, and I look forward for you ranking these Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts. The ones that we decided are Pop-Tarts. Guys, you all did a great job. Making Pop-Tarts is difficult, even when you have a very clear set of directions. So the fact that you did them without a recipe is truly impressive. So the Pop-Tart that's in fourth place, unfortunately, the dough left us wanting more. We wanted a little bit more flavor. The texture was a little off. So I'm sorry, elephant, your Pop-Tart has 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 made it to fourth place. <laughs> You're scaring our judges. <laughs> okay, so in third place, we do have a thick boy. And this one caught on fire in the toaster. Um, it didn't have one of the best doughs we tasted all day, but it did have one of the best flavor combinations. So in third place, we have... Zach. Oh, you tricky m <laughs> Oh, you really gave me hope for no reason. Oh, I thought I was getting into... Why'd you do that? You didn't have to do that. It I was, was so rude. Close, you didn't though. have to do it, it that way. So close. You know, you didn't know you were doing to do it. You knew you were taking us uh, just, uh, just stabbing right in the heart. Just giving me hope that I didn't deserve to have. You're stabbing me, stabbing me. Don't pour a beverage on it next okay. time. So, it's just so hard for us to choose because we genuinely enjoyed both of them. Eugene's, you really blew us away with your creativity. You really followed your theme all the way through. The flavor combination was something that all three of us enjoyed. Not sure why, but we enjoyed it. Keith most resembled a Pop-Tart to us. The flavors are really nostalgic. For, from a creativity standpoint, maybe didn't really take us home there. Um, Never met Donald Haversberger. <laughs> You'd be blown away. The winner of the Pop-Tart without a recipe is Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
That's so great. I'm oh, relieved. Call your dad. I, I'm oh, gonna. Yours was kind of just slow and steady. Turtle wins the race. It just <laughs> kind of met all the marks of a pop tart. Well, congratulations, <laughs> Keith. We've got more episodes plus a live finale. Tickets are still available. Go to tryguys.com slash war. We'll see you next week. Sex week. Sex week. Third place sex <laughs> week. <laughs> next time on Without a Recipe. I don't learn anything. What's the point of that? It's not we the recipe. Oh, Keith, they're too hard. But what do we do at this point? It's a unique burger. Please. It's a unique burger. Back, Keith. Just try it. Just put it in your mouth.